What is going on guys, my name is Noonan and today I bring you another quick start guide to Super Senso. Today we'll be going over the Rhino Senso, so hopping right into it. The Rhino is a very well rounded Senso. He has a pretty decent health and a pretty high base attack. Now what makes him very interesting is his passive ability. His passive ability allows him to approach units, attack them and push them back one space, making him very hard to deal with and a pretty good counter to other Sensos as well. Now as far in, in terms of play style, he could be played in a very various different Different ways. If you're interested in rushing and you like to approach enemies very fast and hit them very hard, this is a good sense to do it because if you approach, you can push enemies back, allowing them not able to counterattack you and kind of put enemies on the defensive. Now, if you're playing defensive with this character, he also works very well as well. So, if the enemy likes to approach in and come in on you, and they make a push on their units, you can utilize this Senso to push them back a little bit and get them on the defensive. He's a really, really good unit for newer players. He's really well-rounded, a little bit tanky with a high base attack damage, and his passive ability allows him to create some interesting strategies and to really counteract and push back the enemy uh, depending on the turn or the point that you're in in a match. So enough about him, let's go ahead and jump right into a match and kind of show off how he plays and a little bit of his play style and the different things that we can do with him. So we're gonna go ahead and run into a game with an AI and in this match I'm gonna play a little bit defensively and let the AI bot come in against me for the first few turns so that way I can kind of show off how if you start off defensive you can make a really strong comeback with this character which is really good because a lot of people like to rush and overwhelm the opponents and that's a play style I tend to lean towards too a lot is rushing opponents to get a really quick and early victory and like I said this Senso really um really allows you to kind of push back and make a comeback in games and other things like that so let's go ahead and select a rhino and get this match going. So we are going to be going against a an Archmage bot. So not too bad. Not really worried about him. So it's my turn. And we're going to go ahead and start by playing a bit defensive. Now, Rhino having a good base health allows him a good amount of survivability as well. We're going to go ahead and put him into the bait spot over here. Which allows us to have the enemy kind of come in give us a free energy a little bit and then the next turn I'm gonna bring my Rhino back so that way we play a little bit on the defensive so I'm gonna go here and then we're gonna call in a striker we're not gonna put the striker in too deep just yet we're gonna kind of put him over here so that way we can let the enemy approach so we're gonna end our turn and see what the bot has in store for us now assuming he's probably gonna move his soldier and call it in um, a striker or something like that to kind of attack us so there we go he moved in his soldier now our damage is not super high it's pretty high it, 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 we can deal some pretty good damage but it's not like the reaper where we can um our retaliation can kind of really hurt units and take them out so as you can see the soldier did attack us over here as you saw him and we did push him back one unit so it's really good on playing the defensive so what we could do is we can kill the soldier but seeing as though we could do that we're gonna go ahead and yeah we have a high enough base health so we're gonna kill the soldier for the energy we're gonna push in just a little bit bring the striker over here and then i think what we'll do is seeing as though we could play a little bit defensive we can call in a sniper call in a sniper because we can make use of that later on and we're gonna go ahead and end our turn for now now we're gonna wait a few more turns kind of let the enemy approach a little bit and we could really start making use of the rhino being able to push units back so we got a boomer coming in we got a few boomers down there we have a sniper approaching and what's really good about this is now we're playing the defensive is uh we got the mortar in a really good position because now we can kind of hit his senso head on or we can take out a boomer but what i'm going to do is utilize our mortar to kind of hit his senso and take out his sniper next we can call in a striker take out this boomer over here and now once again we're playing on the defensive and seeing as though the mage wants to come in we can go ahead and i guess we can attack him directly because he wants to approach and now that we're playing a little bit more defensive, we have a lot of units in our base. Anything he kind of approaches with, we can essentially take it out. So as far as things go, we could take our striker, and I guess we could put him right over here because the enemy will probably approach somewhere over here. And then we're going to take our sniper and line him up next to our headquarters. We're going to end our turn and wait for the bot to retaliate. So is he going to move up with the bots? Okay, he's going to hit us with the Archmage. Um, once again, the Rhino is a pretty tanky class, so it's not going to be too devastating to us. I'm not going to be something I'm too worried about because it'll take a lot to kill us. Like I said, it's a really well-rounded unit and one that's really friendly for newer players. 
because it allows you to make mistakes with his high base health and not be punished punished too much for it and you can make a comeback pretty strong with this character so now we have our rhino we can go ahead and hit him directly once again he can hit us next turn with a boomer and a sniper and his archmage and it probably will not be enough to kill us whereas he's kind of approaching over here we can go ahead and use our mortar to take these guys out like i said prime position for playing defensive uh with is putting your mortar right there and then we could take our striker and kill this boomer we're gonna have this striker come in on over here and then we can call in because we're gonna play a little bit defensive we can call in a tank so if they really do want to make the push we have more tanky units in here to kind of deal the damage and really get a good defense going around our hq so let's go ahead and end our turn and see what the enemy bot has in store for us again He's probably going to approach a little bit. Um, oh, he did not hit our Rhino head-on. We did lose a Striker. That's fine. But we did hit the Boomer, like I predicted. He's calling in more Boomers. But that's fine. If they approach, we have that Prime position right there for the Mortar. So, seeing as though they're not close enough, we can go ahead and utilize the Mortar to hit the Archmage and potentially kill the Boomer. It's pretty close, but not close enough. And now we can utilize this Tank. Or, let's, let's save the Tank. Let's call in... Let's call in the Striker to kill the Sniper. And we're going to utilize our tank to kill the boomer. Next, we'll use our rhino to hit the archmage to nearly kill him. And then I believe we can finish off the archmage with a striker over here. There we go. We got the damage in. Now we have five energy. For just playing a little bit defensively, he wasn't able to take out too much of our units. And just by letting him come in and kill a lot, of, or letting us kill a lot of his units, we now have five energy. So next turn, when he comes in, we can kill. For the three energy and then call down a second orbital laser and essentially call that a victory so let's go ahead and end now there's not really much left he can do he can call in a few more weak units and make a little bit of an of approach for us but seeing as though we have a tank and another tanky units and he can try to approach with his boomers and other things like that but it's really not going to be enough to um, kind of get any any progress on us because we're really in a prime position right now so once again we have the mortar we can take out this boomer because like I said, if you're playing on the defensive, prime position right there for the mortar to kind of take out and kill any of enemies that are approaching from the bottom over here. Now, we have our tank. We can go ahead and we can utilize our tank to hit the boomer, but I think we're going to go ahead and hit the striker. So that way we can utilize this striker to kill this guy over here, and that gives us three energy. So, now that we have three energy, we can call down our second orbital strike and seize the victory. Now, with the Rhino, you can play quick and fast and do a lot of approach and hit the headquarters head on, but playing defensive with this Senso really pays off because, as you saw, we did call in a lot of units, we kind of held our ground and just let the enemy feed us a ton of free energy. So, we're gonna go ahead and call down the orbital laser for the victory, and essentially, that's a pretty easy and quick way to kind of play Rhino to the best of its ability. So like I said, the Rhino is a very versatile Senso. He can play a, be played a lot of different ways, but I think to get the most use out of him is to play him defensive, let the enemy approach you, and deal with them as they come, because essentially they'll be feeding you a lot of free energy, and you can just claim a victory with just the orbital strikes. But if you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. But until next time, guys, I will talk to you later.